The day after Raul Hidalgo arrived in the United States from El Salvador, he was sitting in the pews at St. Michael's Church in Flushing. 39 years later, he's still here. He's never returned home. Sometimes I cry for many things that are happening, even now, in my country. We haven't had peace in more than 40 years. Raul remembers the beginning of El Salvador's bloody civil war and the violence that plagued his country. Things got really scary at that time. You know, I remember exactly when Monsignor Romero was killed in 1980. Months later, these four women were killed. Maura Clark and Ida Ford, Mary Knoll sisters from the Diocese of Brooklyn, Dorothy Kazel, an Ursuline sister, and Jean Donovan, a lay missionary. Killing uh, the sisters, that was another big hit because it, it was not right what the government was doing in, at that time in, in my country. While in El Salvador on a mission to help the poor, the women were brutally murdered. 40 years later, their memory is still alive at St. Michael's. The four women made a commitment to be in that country at that time, even though there was much violence going on, so it's important that we never forget them. At a mass for the women on the anniversary of their deaths, Monsignor John Vesey, who has spent decades doing missionary work in Paraguay, Guatemala and China, said their legacy has new meaning in today's world. These women risked their lives in a civil war to serve people. We are in a pandemic now. How many of us are risking our lives to serve the people? This is the challenge that I believe that they're giving the church today. Raul and his family pray the peace the slain women sought to bring to El Salvador will finally come. One day we will have that peace that we all want. Hopefully nothing of these was in vain. But for now, they're still waiting. In Flushing, Jessica Easthope, Currents News. If you're watching Currents News on YouTube, be sure to hit the subscribe button and click on the bell to get updates to all of our newest content because we are putting your faith in the news.